Okay, this is the uh, prototype setup for the uh, our servo controlled coolant nozzles. Uh, the nozzles are pretty much done. It's just a standard RC servo in there. Uh, there's a shaft with a slot in it with a uh, ball bearing from a uh, old three and a half inch floppy drive, and the uh, there's a coolant nozzle. And then there's also a smaller hole here for an air blast. And then there'll be uh, two hoses attached to that. And to, it's controlled by an Arduino. And there's six knobs here. Uh, the top, the red knobs here control the angle of the nozzles. So I can line them up where I, on the tool. And the green ones here control. So if I'm doing deep uh, peck cycles with a drill bit or something like that, I can uh, move up and down with the drill bit. And I can do both of them. And they can also be rotated at the same time. Okay, and the blue knobs here, they control the solenoid valve, and there's also a green LED buried down in here in the in the breadboard, and that controls, uh, basically it'll, the one knob controls the on time and the other controls the off time, and so this knob when it's turned all the way to the one side, it turns it off, and so as you can increase the amount of time it's on. And then this knob here controls the off how long it's off for. And that can be adjusted through the Arduino. Uh, I have it set at 5 seconds now. I'm going to probably have it up to about 30 seconds when it's on the mill. So if I turn the knob all the way this way, it turns it on permanently. So basically, this is an on and off switch too. I just want to leave it on. I just turn it all the way one way. I want to turn it off. I just turn it that way. I just want it to going on and off real quick or, or real slow and the, the this was the hardest part of, of figuring out the Arduino programming was allowing that delay not to interfere with the servos so this is all you can control everything there's no delay in the movement of the servos And then the other thing, it's hard to see, I'm going to have a switch on the mill. There's a just a wire back here for the switch. But what I'm going to have is, uh, my, when the column goes up for tool change, it'll hit a switch on the column. And it will automatically weave these back and forth a couple times, turn the air on to blow any chips off of the, uh, the tool, any coolant. So it sort of dries it out so I can change it and get out of the way, cat. And uh, so uh, I'll just show you that here. Okay, so that turned, that turned the nozzle on, went back and forth about four times. And then it'll go back, at, then the nozzles will turn out of the way so they're not dripping on anything or just to be out of the way for a tool change. And then when you uh, 
put the tool in and go back down. Oh, I must have hit it again. But, uh, yeah, they'll go back in uh, to the original position before the tool change, and then you can just adjust them for the next tool.